We present our preferred approach to excision of heterotopic ossification around the hip with discussion of both arthroscopic and open excision. Here are our disclosures. Here we present a number of cases of HO around the hip in different patients. HO is often identified around the hip joint and can be caused by various pathologies, including trauma, tendon avulsions, chronic injury, spinal cord injury, and prior hip surgery. Oftentimes, HO around the hip is asymptomatic. However, in some cases, HO can contribute to hip impingement symptoms. If arthroscopic surgery is planned to address other intraarticular pathology or FAI, arthroscopic HO removal can be accomplished simultaneously. Some cases require an open approach, especially if the HO is located extraarticularly. The arthroscopic approach is performed with a standard hip arthroscopy traction table. The senior author's current preference is postless traction, but a post can be used for traction. Standard anterolateral, anteromedial, and distal anterolateral portals are used. Oftentimes, the HO does not restrict access to the central compartment, so labor repair and addressing intraarticular pathology is possible, as would be done with a standard hip arthroscopy. Once central compartment work is complete, the hip is taken out of traction and the RF device is used to carefully dissect the HO free from surrounding tissue. The radiofrequency ablation device is directed toward the HO fragment to minimize the amount of surrounding tissue removed. If the fragment is too large, a burr can be used to divide the fragment into smaller pieces, and a grasper or coker can be used to remove the individual pieces. The HO bone can be vascular, so if using a burr and fragmenting pieces, be prepared with the radiofrequency ablation device to cauterize as needed. Once the HO has been removed, the peripheral compartment can be accessed more easily. Here, CAM decompression can take place and capsule closure can be completed. Here we discuss one approach to open HO excision. This patient had significant HO outside of the hip joint from prior intramedullary nail. The patient also had concomitant labral tear and FAI, so hip arthroscopy was performed first with portals modified slightly to avoid encountering the extraarticular HO. After completion of labral repair and CAM decompression with capsule closure, the patient was repositioned and the lateral position and a modified Gibson approach was used. The HO was carefully dissected with the use of osteotomes from the distal abductor insertion. The abductors were then subsequently repaired back to the greater trochanter. The pre- and post-operative radiographs for each of the cases we presented here are demonstrated. It's important to note that in some cases, not all of the HO was removed. In cases where a small amount of residual HO remains, but is in an impingement-free area, we felt that it was not worth the additional soft tissue dissection to remove this bone. In summary, most heterotopic ossification is located at the indirect and direct heads of the rectus. Most central compartment work can be accomplished with arthroscopy around existing HO. Arthroscopic surgery portals may need to be modified or enlarged to access the joint and remove the heterotopic ossification. HO fragments should be removed with a coker or locking grasper to avoid loss of the fragment in the soft tissue. If an open approach is needed for HO removal, common approaches can include Smith-Peterson, modified Gibson, or modified bikini approach. Arthroscopic removal of heterotopic ossification may be utilized in patients with concurrent intraarticular hip pathology and symptomatic HO. It mitigates the need for repositioning of the patient and the use of an additional incision. Additionally, arthroscopic surgery compared to open surgery may be associated with faster recovery times, lower complication rates, and decreased opioid need. Arthroscopy may additionally minimize the risk of HO recurrence due to decreased soft tissue disruption. Thank you.